Hey everybody, welcome back to On the Dock with Terry Winter. This is the uh, third session and today I want to talk about the edge change. One of the most common problems I see is that people end up pulling too long and when you pull too long then you're taking some of that speed down course into the buoy and then when you go to make that turn you're going to have the slack and it makes the turn difficult. The way that I like to think about the edge change is by splitting the course into two halves. You basically accelerate from the buoy into the center of the wakes and then from the center of the wakes out to the next buoy is a big long turn. So you're never cutting past that center line and by doing that you're going to be a lot slower at the buoy and have a nice tight line instead of having that slack rope. So there's a couple of keys to making this happen. One, obviously you have to have good acceleration out of your turn. If you're too slow out of the turn or if you have a weak position in that cutting phase, then again you end up cutting long and taking that speed into the ball. The second key aspect is maintaining a good body position through the edge change and out to that point where you release the handle. What I try to do is feel that connection between my elbows and my vest all the way through that edge change and even up to the point where I release the handle. Then I can control the handle, control the line and kind of feed that handle out as I release instead of my chest getting pulled forward and my hips going back and getting pulled into that buoy. The better the position you can maintain through the edge change and the more you can keep that handle and your hips together the wider you're going to get and when you do release the handle you're going to be more free of the boat and then through the turn you'll be able to stay more upright with the shoulders level and be able to keep those hips up. As you do come around that buoy with a nice tight line and you finish that turn you'll be able to accelerate right away out of the ball again and stay right on that rhythm where you're accelerating as soon as you finish the turn all the way into that first wake and then at the center line of the wake you'll be able to start that next turn or make that edge change and therefore you'll just be staying in that rhythm nice and early um, you have a long turn a long pre-turn with a lot of time to think before the buoy with a nice tight line and you can just stay in that rhythm